Hey guys, this is Gene Jensen, and today I want to talk about the most important box of tackle that I own. All right, so the box is my terminal tackle box. It is very important to me. I take it everywhere. I take it on my kayak. I take it on, you know, when I'm bank fishing, I'm taking it everywhere because it's got all of the things I need to not only rig baits, but to modify baits and fix them when they, when they break. Um, and so it's basically my hooks, my sinkers, my swivels and everything else. So I've got a few gadgets in here that are pretty neat. Maybe some you've never seen before um, and a few type of hooks. So I'm going to go through in depth into my terminal tackle box. Uh, so let's roll, let's roll right into it. First of all, I chose the Bass Mafia box. I used to use the Plano ones, the 70, 7201s, I believe, the real thin ones that have a bunch of different dividers, and they were great. Um, I used them for years. Uh, the only thing is, is I didn't have enough dividers. I have too much crap. So I went with the Bass Mafia boxes. Not only are they solid, but they have a bunch of dividers, and that was the biggest reason. And so a bunch of different small little compartments where I can keep my hooks and my swivels and everything else. Okay, as you can see, I've kind of got, I, I've really minimized my terminal tackle over the years. Um, I've got all of my sinkers up top, my tungsten right here, my drop shot weights, uh, my, uh, my Carolina rig weights, both my lead ones, and these are also drop shot weights, and my tungsten uh, Carolina rig weights, which I only have three left. But um, I'm going to go through them from front to back. You'll see I've got, I've got the weights listed on the side so I so I know what weight they are and that's only for the uh, the um, the tungsten sinkers and then with uh, my drop shot weights I pour these myself and they have the the weight on the side which really isn't that important when it comes to drop shot I just either want light or heavy uh, Carolina rig weights or tungsten these are the old true tungsten finesse Carolina rig weights I guard them with my life um, I, I wish they had, that uh, that eco pro would start making them uh, maybe one day and then you'll notice I don't have any extra wide gap hooks. I stopped using extra wide gap hooks a long time ago. Um, just I get better hookups with with these uh, with these offset round bend hooks. Uh, I have uh, what two aught, three aught, and four aught. And I th there might be a one or two one aughts in here, but it's usually two aught, three aught, and four aught. I'd hardly ever use a five aught. Um, it's just because when I'm using a big bait, I just, I think I get more action out of a four aught. Um, I haven't had any problem with that. Yes, I should, maybe should have some EWGs in here, some extra wide gap hooks for bigger baits, but uh, I just don't, I, it just doesn't fit my style, so I just don't use them. Um, each of, I have several of these little pieces. These are the, um, the Flambeau. Uh, Z rust tabs and I cut them up into pieces and I put them in here and the Z rust is really really cool It actually creates a vapor inside your tackle your box and it works best when the box is sealed like this one is a waterproof box and it creates a vapor that coats your uh, your hooks. It sounds like hocus pocus, but I've been doing it for about, oh, eight months now, and I'm telling you, it stops the rusting and it prevents it from ever happening. So I am totally sold on these little tabs. The Flambeau boxes have the dividers that are made of Z, uh, the Z-Rust stuff, which is great, but I like this box, so what I've done is I just buy the dividers or I buy the little tabs, and like I say, I just cut them up. Okay, to go on down, I got my Beads for Carolina rigging. These are, are the, uh, I can't remember what they're called. They're the hard ones uh, that are basically a magnet. Uh, I've got plastic beads for a different sound. And then I've got my Carolina keepers, which are very hard to get out with your fingers. Carolina keepers, both red and clear. Uh, I got a video on my Carolina rig video that talks about the Carolina keepers and what they do. Swivels for my flukes, mainly. Those are the big swivels. I don't know what size it is, it's just large swivels. Um, in this little compartment right here, I have duo locks, and I only use the small ones, and I use them when I'm trying to figure out what crankbait works the best. See if I can just get one out and show it to you, or two. And uh, I just need to, you know, and I'm switching crankbaits out all the time after every five or six casts. So it's easier just to throw those on there until you figure out what crankbait works and then take them off and tie directly. Then a, a various kinds of swivels. I've got the oval ones and I've got round ones in here. Or not swivels, um, split rings. Then my worm weight. This is a nose weight you stick into a worm. I use them every once in a while when I want to finesse fish. It's really good for, for uh, oh, what's that Japanese rig? I can't remember. I'll do a video on it eventually. 
uh, somebody will remind me in the comments I'm positive. And then uh, nail weights, these are lead. Come on over to this side, I've got my, um, my wacky rig hooks. I've got large ones that are weedless and I've also got um, those, uh, these are my favorite ones. I'll put a link to most of this stuff down in the description. But these right here are my favorite ones. Um, you can find them on Tackle Warehouse. Uh, they're just great. I have the hookup percentage goes way up, way way up. I've got my large drop shot hooks for larger baits and heavier line. My skinny drop shot hooks, my real small light wire ones. Trailer hooks for my spinner baits, buzz baits, chatter baits. And then I've got various, I got two or three different sizes of, or two different sizes of, uh, of treble hooks. I've got uh, number sixes and number fours. Uh, these are the, uh, the short shanked um, um, wide gap ones. I can't remember who makes them. I think they're owner or must add. I think they're, can't remember which ones. Some round bends in there and then some red ones for my, my clear super spooks. Then we get into the swim bait stuff. I just got weighted hooks. These are all Moner weighted hooks. Uh, both the, the Rage Rig and my swim baits go on these hooks. Several different kind, several different types, but they're all Moners. M-O-A-N-E-R if you guys are wondering how to spell it. Uh, that's a wide gap that snuck in there. <laughs> Look at that. Um, and then to go on down, I've just got an extra little punch skirt that's close by that probably should be in my punch box, but it's not. Uh, it's some um, uh, heavy uh, flipping hooks. Some of these are rusted. I need to go ahead and replace them out. That was before I got the old Z-Rust thing going. But uh, yeah, these aren't very good. And then my Ned rigs. I got different weights and different colors. Larger ones, smaller ones. Uh, my O-rings for my, for my wacky rigging. And I've got my O-ring tool I keep right here in my boat. It's my O-ring tool and it goes in there too. So you can put them on there, a little wacky rig tool. Now for the little trick box. These are pretty, there's a lot of cool, really cool things in here. I've got my punch stops. I've got these if I need them. Um, and then a lighter to, to fix soft plastics. And of course, my, my wacky rig tool. And then we've got more punch stops in there. I've got some pegots just in case I ha already have the weight on there and I don't want to take it off. I just want to peg the weight on there. And then this is a pretty cool little tool. I got introduced to, the, uh, to this about eight months ago. And you guys have, who've seen my recent video, I talk about uh, putting little punching holes in milk jugs and using those hole punches. Well, this is called the Trailer Hook Pal. Um, and uh, just a really, really cool tool. I'm going to show you kind of how it works. Let's see if I can get this thing pegged in here. Okay. The hard part about using these little plastic rings they're great trailer hook keepers the problem is is you when you're poking them into the hook you poke yourself on the finger too much so this company has come up with this little tool right here and so you put the the uh, little plastic thing down in there plastic disc and then you put your uh, let me pull a spinner bait out I got one right here let me show you you put your your uh, trailer hook on the spinner bait and then you just slide, you just poke the, the hook right into the, ring, into the disc and that's what happens. It is the best trailer hook keeper that I've ever used. I've used uh, everything from, uh, from, uh, um, from surgical tubing to the, oh, what you call it, uh, fuel line for, uh, for remote control cars. And those are great, but they, they just, they wear out and they, and they punch holes in them and everything else. These are really easy to take off. You just take your scissors and snip a slit in them and they pull right off. So it's not a big deal if you want to take, take the trailer hook off. But uh, really, really like that deal. Um, pretty neat. So, but that's my, oh, and the other thing I do with my ter terminal tackle box is I've got a video about this somewhere way back in my archives. Um, this is a padded shelf liner that you basically cut to shape, then you spray the lid, and I actually spray the shelf liner with, uh, with spray adhesive, and then stick inside this lid. And what that does is it keeps all these little bitty things like the, the split shots and the duo snaps from going over into another compartment. It totally keeps everything locked down. It's an idea that I came up with years ago and it still works wonderful. So that's my terminal tackle box. That's my bag of tricks or my box of tricks as I call it. And, uh, 
and I don't go anywhere without it. Well, like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed al already. Share this video across social media, and more importantly, get out of the water, go out and catch some fish, and have a great day.